Yeah, check this out. Uh, a lot of you have sent this to me and also saw it come up in the feed. 16-year-old bike that just won the men's British, British governor, National Hill Climb Champs 2024, rim brakes, no paint, tiny seats days, and a decade-old group set are still plenty enough to help champion, champion, Hill Climb 2024, British champion Harry McFarlane see off some serious competition. And that is true. You had Andrew Fever and Ed and the gang uh, turning up on the day. So it wasn't like he had no competition. He had the competition of the recent Hill Climb top tier champions. And this is the bike that Harry Mack won the race on. All right. So we're going to do a bit of background checks here. Uh, so this is Harry Hudson. Hang on. Do we get, did I get the names right here? Um... Two Harrys. Okay, yeah, we did. So this is Harry Mac 3 on Instagram. Unprofessional cyclist. He loves it. Um, so yeah, this is the deal. This is the deal. He, he wins the... Uh, let's have a look here. All right, so we've got... Yep. It's Andrew Fever over there. So yeah, I mean, to beat Andrew Fever, you know, uh, and, and co, that's, that's damn. He's, he's got to be happy with that one, doesn't he? He's got to be very, very happy with that win. Good work, Harry Farland. And then we have the third, second place was Andrew Fever on his disc brake bike. Damn, bad choice. And this is Harry Hudson. Did I get him third overall time-wise? Um, and he's on rim brakes as well. All right. He's on rim brakes as well. Look at that. Boom. Okay. So, yeah, the uh, the smart riders are riding rim brakes. Oh, Harry follows me as well. So, yeah, he's, he's on the tips then. There we go. Good work, Harry. Very, very good. And this guy, he lost it. Looks like he's got a bit of social media presence there. Okay, so yeah, racer. Um, yeah, there you go. Damn. That's good effort, bro. Good work, Harry. Congratulations, mate. On the rim brakes, represent. Let's get back to the bike here, because this is why we're all here. But Harry is the pilot. Without the rider, you don't get a win. But this is the bike of choice. Let's give it a critique. So it looks like a Cervelo RS. Um, is it an RS? Yeah, yeah, it is, because some of the RS have a, a curved seat stay. Anyway, um, that's interesting. I've got an RS, let me double check it. Got here, Harry's bike, and also, sorry, I forgot to mention, Illy Gardner, uh, Illy Gardner, this chick here, rumped her in, she won the chicks one, um, and over here we're on Charlie's video, this is, this is Graham the Socks, where are we? Here we go, Illy Gardner, all right. Again, she's a rim brake queen. Look at that. This chick has got over 8,000 Strava, Strava comms, man. <laughs> she's stealing comms from the bros, man. Rim brakes for the win. And, uh, yeah, so she's yeah 8,000 Strava climb segments. So I think she's got the world record on wins there. So she climbs really, really well. It's interesting. And she also picks rim brakes. All right. So there we go. So the, the best climbers in the UK the best male and female climber, the king and queen of climbing right now in the UK are picking rim brakes. Speaks volumes, doesn't it? Isn't it great? It's got one by on there, SRAM ETAP. Um, you know? And a lot, a lot, this, this, uh, oh man, this is hilarious. Uh, the Cycling Weekly, still trying to shield disc brakes to its readers. Of course, you can build a 5.5 kilo disc brake bike if you have the cash. Exactly. Why, why would you? Why would you drop that much cash on a bike that's just going to be lighter if you did rim brake? You know? But for many, rim brakes prove to be far more wallet-friendly option. Wallet-friendly? Yeah, wallet-friendly, but also everything-friendly. Servicing-friendly, bike-fit-friendly, getting spare parts cheap-friendly. You know? Um, are you, and this one here. This one here. Hill climb okay. <laughs> Hill climbing is pretty much the only discipline in bike racing where rim brakes still rule the roost. I'm sorry, rim brakes always rule the roost in road. The reason well what about today's Podger car and Remco Harley? They have to ride disc brakes. There is no choice. But remember when they did have a choice? Remco rode rim. And remember when Tadej had a choice? Tadej, Tadej, today rode rim brake bikes, man. Okay. But here's what the media does. Look at this quote here. Hill climbing is pretty much the only discipline in bike racing, bullshit, where rim brakes still rule the roost, bullshit. And it mostly comes down to cost, bullshit. It comes down to weight. I can afford any bike I want, all right? And if I was as talented as Illy 
and Harry McFarlane and co. And I was going for the win. I'll be turning up on my rim brake bike as well, okay? Because rim brake bikes are faster. They're more aero. They're lighter, okay? You can build up lighter, given any given spec. They just have, and more aero. The wind catches the rotors, man. And the rotors rub, all right? Can you imagine what Andrew, how much, how much power did Andrew Fever lose on his disc brake bike? Now, I haven't seen the bike Andrew Fever used, but I'm assuming he's got a disc brake bike because he's sponsored. And when you're sponsored, you don't really have the choice. You actually you don't have the choice in 2024 if you're sponsored by a big brand, you know, uh, and that, that's unfortunate. So, so I would say that the few seconds that Andrew Fever lost by, you know, the bike's definitely a factor. <laughs> it would be good if that Harry and Andrew went head to head on rim brake bikes. Harry definitely had the advantage, but Harry had the choice. I mean, Andrew Andrew Fever is a lawyer. Like, what? Why would you? Like, he's not struggling for cash. Why would you like lose? The championship, you try to, you put so much effort into it all the time, just because you're trying to keep up sponsorship recommendations. But bro, you don't have to. You know what I mean? I'm a sponsored rider, but not at the level that I'm broke and I have to ride what I'm told to ride. You know? So yeah. Anyway, that's the deal there. Um, but yeah, this, this whole, uh, you know, <laughs> just go and read the article. Pasta equals faster. Come up. Yeah, this I was looking at RS RS in the end. Um, but yeah, good on Harry for, uh, you know, <laughs> that's cl- these, these Dura-Ace tubulars, the C24s are very nice as well. They're really, really good. But just go and read this article and watch the shade they throw at rim brakes. All right? Remember, Cycling Weekly makes their money from advertising from big bike brands. So they're obviously going to be a little bit condescending towards rim brakes. Even though back in the day, they were very pro rim brake friendly. But now it's like, you know, but isn't this cool? He's got oxygen for pussies. He'll climb bike, feed me beer. This <laughs> dude's loving it, mate. Loving it. Um. Yeah. So you got people to uh, get the white out pen and leave some messages on there, and then he's going to clear code it. That's legendary. So Harry definitely sounds like a a cycle people a cyclist of the people, the people's choice, and he's got the people's choice bike. Good work, Harry. Harry McFarlane, good work, mate. Very very good. Ambassador for cycling, isn't he? So what? This, this another thing we're going to talk about as well is Harry Mack doing this. It is, you know, this is an element no one's no one really going to be talking about. Let's cover it though. Harry Mack is doing this, and it's proving a point that the big bike brands are just full of shit right now. Now, some of the big bike brands have just got to follow Specialized because that's, you know, what's what's going on. But Harry's win on this Facebook marketplace, white-out pen, 16-year-old frame, 10-year-old group set, 10-year-old wheels, you know, rim brakes, is proving the point that rim is just faster, okay? It's just better for road bikes. No, don't come up with me. Am I going to put rim brakes on my Ducati? Should I put rim brakes on my car? The topic is cycling. The topic is seven kilo machines, road bikes for road racing. Okay, one topic here: bicycles. Don't give me any Ducati stuff or whatever. I should put rim brakes on my WRX STI. Whatever. Anyway, so this is the rally. So this is great that Harry's done this. It's going. Look at this. You can win the most prestigious cycling event in the UK, and that is man the Hill Climb Champs. Man, that is the event. That's the event that's always there that everyone knows about, isn't it? I mean, you got your national champs, obviously, but in terms of like a real cycling culture, the hill climb champs, that's the thing in the UK. They're, they're crazy about that, and that's great. I wish we had that here in Australia. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So that's the deal. So Harry doing this, the win on this bike, it just shows people, man, like, you know, he's the top dog climber, and on that day, he wins. And look at that. And he's on a bike that anyone can afford, pretty much. Any, you, you, you know, in, this is another thing as well. Cycling for the entry level person out there who has no idea what the best is. This is the best. This bike here is the best. Rim brake could be a tarmac, could be a Cervelo, could be a Super Six, could be a giant TCR Defy, Advanced SL TCR, whatever. Rim brake is just going to be better. And so the average cyclist out there who's brand new today is going to go to a bike shop and they're going to get disc brakes and the bike's going to feel like shit. And then to do bike fit on it, it's a lot of faffing around, integrated stem and steer, all this nonsense, integrated steering bars rather. You know, just all the faffery, the faffery, the faffery. 
and they're going to ride the, the latest bike, and it's going to feel like shit. When I bought my S-Works S8 Tarmac, rode it down the street, I laughed to myself, thinking, man, the cycling media's really sold out. This bike feels like a slug. The best bike in the world, according to cycling media right now, is the SL8 Tarmac S-Works. And I sort of partly agree, it is th- th- it is the best bike in disc brake world, okay? Road disc, SL8 Tarmac, S-Works, okay, got it, done. Yes, it is the best. But it's crap compared to any rim brake, Tarmac, or Cervelo, etc. of equivalent spec. It's just crap. Sluggish. If you know, you know. Not, yeah, not including the bike fit, just purely on ride performance. The SL8 tarmac, road discs just sucks for performance compared to to disc. Uh, to sorry, compared to rim, disc just sucks, man, on road. Anyway, so Harry's doing this. It's just proving the point, man. It's proving the point that I'm dancing up and down about, and it's great that someone like Harry, who is just going to go, yep, yeah, let's do it, mate. The goal is to win. All right, what's the best bike for that rim brake? Let's get one. Let's go. You know. So there you go. That's that's a. That's, he's got the choice. I mean, we all have the choice, but he's just really putting that in there. Like, he's got a sponsorship with another brand, but on the on the day, he's like, man, I'm, I'm bringing this bike out. So good on him, man. What a legend. He deserves a tap on the back. A tap on the back. He deserves a, 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 a friendly slap on the back, and uh, yeah, that's good, man. He, did, he didn't even have uh, lightweight quick releases on there. What a legend. <laughs> so you could still even get this bike a little bit lighter, but no need because, I mean, I mean, yeah, every gram doesn't matter. I'm just saying. This this wasn't even a, a super 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 lightweight build. We get, we even ship even a lot of that, but it was good enough for the win on the day. Close enough's good enough at this level. Um, <laughs> what's for Harry Mack? What's this hilarious man? Hilarious it's Cycling Weekly, you know. Cycling Weekly. I've been reading this magazine for like thirty years, and uh, these some of these new journalists just trashing the rim brakes, man. Come on, we've got to get back to cycling. What, what cycling is a sport that is a cycling is a lifestyle. Cycling is a sport that becomes a lifestyle, man. And these bikes, these bikes ride so fucking nice, man. They're so easy to work on. They're a dream, man. They're, they're great to live with. They're great to live with. The new bikes are just fucking a pain in the ass. The rotors rub. They're, they're fucking expensive, overpriced, unnecessary overkill. The excess faff. Got to take your chain off to dip it in a wax pot. All this fuckery in cycling right now, man. You know, <laughs> all this fucker in cycling has got to go. We've got to get back to the simple times. Squirt lube, rim brakes, lightweight, high-performing road race bikes that just feel amazing to work on. Easy to bike fit, easy to service, easy to get fair parts for, and cheap as chips. Good work, Harry Mack. Good work, Harry Hudson. And good work, Andrew Fever on proving the point that discs are slower. And also good work on Illy. Illy keeping it ill on the climbs on her rim brake bike as well. You know, it's uh, it's fantastic. Anyway, go. Yeah, that's the deal. Hill climb champs for the win, and uh, see you next video.